Hi everyone, it's me again, Emily at That Kind of Life. I am sitting down, about to chow down on a massive Costco ribeye and two tablespoons of butter. I am very excited for this meal. Um, but I wanted to jump on and share something super exciting with all of you. Um, one of the things that I have suffered with for a very, very, very long time. So this would be since July or August of 2011. So we're talking 12 years, I think that makes that this, this month. And what that is, what I've been dealing with is incessant nausea, almost incessant. And what I mean by that is often I would get struck with nausea similar to motion sickness. Um, and it would start like this. I would, my stomach would feel odd. I can't explain that feeling. Um, I would be bloated. And I would be like, I would be yawning like nonstop, yawn after yawn after yawn after yawn after yawn. Then my stomach would start hurting and it would be bloated like a balloon. And um, it often involved going to the toilet many times in an hour, number one, and then later also number two. I would get shiver cold shakes. And so by the fast forward to um, a, a couple of years ago, and, and this was even on carnivore, the medication that I would use to combat motion sickness, they stopped making. And so I found mixalazine, just basic over-the-counter um, anti-nausea medication for when you're in the car. And I had resorted to when I started feeling that nausea, because it's the nausea, like I can handle everything else. The nausea takes me out. And so I would take one of those, at least one of those tablets. Um, and I was doing that, if not weekly, I was doing it many times a week. Fast forward to the beginning of this year. Um, at some point, so I... I started dating a guy, um, well, we became official late February. We have since broken up, it's fine, it's been three months. But at some point during that time of dating him, early on, at one point, I took one of these tablets. Since then, I have not taken a tablet and I have no need to. Maybe two to three weeks ago, probably three weeks ago, I went to bed and I was like, oh no. And I literally, I rolled over and I said, God, no, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I've not taken one of these tablets. I want a good night's sleep. I don't want to get any nausea. I don't want to wake up sick. I don't want to take a tablet. I want this to be a thing of the past. Now, what I know is that late January, was when this started to, well, no. For seven and a half months, late January, middle to late January, was seven and a half months that I had been really clean carnivore. And January into February, I was dealing with a lot of stomach upset due to losing a dear friend of mine. And I would say that the stress exacerbated that. And I took that medication a lot. But at some point, late February, early March, it just stopped. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What I do know is that histamines would cause it. And I've had a lot of histamines lately and I'm totally okay. I would love to say that it's been carnivore and carnivore alone that um, did this. But during this time, 
I was um, not eating clean carnivore, which you know, if you've been following me, like I'm doing a carnivore reset, you know, there's a reason I'm doing that, right? All I know is that God led me to carnivore to address health issues, that being one of them. And all I know is that I have been diligent to be carnivore, and that every time I've fallen off the wagon, I've got straight back on, even if it's been for one meal or a day or a week or a month or seven and a half months, like every single time I have been faithful to go, you gave me this tool, I'm going to do it. And I've placed it before God, this need to um, have these health concerns addressed. And all I know is that it's now August 27. And since late February, the first week of March, I have not taken one of those anti-nausea medications to, well, I have for motion sickness, um, but otherwise I haven't. And I don't, all I can say is that God is good. God is faithful. And I don't deal with this nausea, this reaction to foods, the, the, this type of, of, yeah, food reaction that involved this crazy nausea. I don't, I don't deal with it anymore. And I am so grateful to God for that. I know, I know he led me to carnivore. And I know that I haven't been perfect, but I have been faithful and I have been diligent to pick up the bat every single time that I dropped the bat, you know, and just over the last couple of weeks, I've been wowed with how nice life is to not be taken out by this stupid nausea several times a week. And it's a wonderful feeling. So I wanted to share that all with you. I know this is a little bit of a different video. Thank you for joining and following through to the end. I would love it if you could remember to be kind. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if there's something you need prayer for, some healing you need prayer for, comment it down below and I'll pray for you. Uh, God bless. Happy Sunday. You'll be watching this on Monday. Maybe I might post it right now, actually. So happy Sunday and uh, I'll uh, see you all tomorrow.